Alrighty, so I can basically do a two for one here and uh, use Freyr for the deer, but also showcase <laughs> the summer outfit for Jormungand. And uh, I, <laughs> I really didn't want to buy this because I thought it was really gimmicky. Like, oh, haha, -ha, summer outfit. She's in a bikini. Haha, -ha, funny. Um, but. I, I don't know. It's a limited time. I figured I might as well get it because I actually don't have a whole lot of costumes for her in general. Like, I didn't buy any of the paid costumes for her. I think uh, they gave away um, an SSR outfit for her. And so I was just like, eh, I might as well grab one. And it's, you know, it's limited time, so it won't be around for too long. So I grabbed it. And uh, it, it looks good. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to say about it? But uh, I'm not really a big fan of the whip, to be honest. I think I'll probably end up changing that. And I I have to, I like the hair, kind of, but I'm not a huge fan of the ponytail. But either way, let's... um. Let's do the deer. I actually already did a run of this uh, with the same team um, on the live stream this morning. So if you were around for that, this is probably nothing new. But uh, I had pretty decent RNG with that one as well, and I was able to beat it uh, relatively easy. And I think that having Freyr on the team, whereas I would normally have Red Elat here, um, definitely makes me you know beat it a lot. I, I don't maybe not a lot faster but uh, pretty fast. So uh, I'm gonna do my normal things here. I'll just kind of talk about it as we sort of go through. I've already made like a deer guide. So if you're looking for more in-depth, like actual info on it, I definitely recommend you go do, you know, like look at that video instead because I'm not really planning on talking about mechanics and stuff like that while I play. But uh, I do think that Freyr is pretty good for the fight. Um, Maybe not like super great. The whole reason why I used Elant in the first place was because of her ultimate and it giving you uh, like a lot of defense related stats. So you can sort of patience on floor three, phase four, where he would normally get rid of your ultimate. Uh, it was really nice to be able to just bypass that basically and not have to worry about it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a. Uh, little bit different from what I'm used to messing with I think I think that's gonna kill yeah so um, I don't know I, I there's probably some weird plays that I might end up you know doing out of out of you know just not knowing the team well enough I don't think uh, but I think overall pretty pretty good unit for like pve stuff frayer's really uh, like deals just a ton of uh ton of damage to pve mobs his you know passive is very nice you can't be ignited which doesn't really come too in handy unless you're doing the brand new boss but um yeah i can't complain too much i think it's i think it's pretty good so there's that um I think the only thing that I really get sort of scared about with this run nowadays is the floor two phase four passive. Um, and it's just because that passive, if you get like the one where it removes uh, ultimate move gauge at the very beginning of each phase, that one's just really annoying to deal with uh, more than anything. I think that's like the worst passive that you can get uh, because it makes it a lot harder to sort of like blitz through the last phase um, of floor three. So it's kind of like future proofing, like setting yourself up for success, I guess, uh, and making sure that you don't get like a bad passive early on. So we actually have really good like colored cards in hand. So I think we're going to get rid of the Melly card here. Maybe we'll lifesteal a decent amount back. Um, and. I don't really need like a specific ultimate, but we can go for Escanars here, so we might as well. And we should finish with a good amount of HP also, so that should be really good. Um, all right, so I think we'll go blue, red. This is actually really good to have that right at the end as well, so that way we heal. Uh, and then I think this should kill. Maybe not positive. I maybe should have just used the uh, I don't know why I used that instead of the rank 2 flood card actually that was really dumb uh, I think this kills Boom, yeah, we're good. Boom. All right easy floor one down And then we move on to floor two so 
nice. I uh, I literally just made a deer relic today, so uh, I'm kind of low on these mats. And now you can actually farm the deer, which is also super good. So now, just like the bird, if you clear all three floors, you get one river source guaranteed uh, at the very end of floor three. Uh, so I'm hoping sometime in the future they'll end up doing one of those double drops like they just did for the bird. Uh, and then that should be really nice to uh, hopefully finish off the, the rest of the fairy and goddess relics that I need. So, yeah, kind of looking forward to that. I mean, I really am not a big fan of the deer, but uh, now that I'm using Frere, like, it goes by a little bit quicker, and it's not it's not super difficult. The only thing that kind of screws you over is RNG, and, I mean, it just... Uh, certain times you can get away with it, but other times, you know, you can't. Uh, so it just depends. Um... We have to deal with the gimmick where you have to do a full color rotation wheel in the next phase, so I think I'm going to try to go for Escanor's ultimate. And then we have one of each color in hand, so we'll see how RNG deals with that. Really good amplified draw there, but I mean, unfortunately in phase two, or floor two, he puts up the like the shield thing, so you can't use those cards in uh, phase two or four. Um, not too bad of draws actually. So let's go for blue, red, green. Go ahead and use the alt. So you have to do a full color wheel here before you can even deal damage because of this uh, defense buff. She looks pretty good from the back. Gotta be honest. She's looking good in the bikini. But anyway. Okay. We're actually getting pretty good cards. We're not getting bombarded with melee cards. Actually, I say that, but I now do not have any Escanor cards in hand, which is a bit unfortunate. But I should be able to still beat this no problem. So let's go ahead and use the Cleave card. And then we move into green, and then that should clear everything up. I think I'm going to... Mm, I think I'm going to get rid of that, just so we can try to draw better uh, color cards. I say color cards because dark and light don't really... They're not colors. Whereas blue, red, green... Oh, I mean, technically, I guess you could just call these purple and yellow, but... That, I don't know. That's weird. Um, all right. Let me just try to get rid of cards here. We still don't have any Escanor cards in hand, which is a bit frustrating. Um, so hopefully we can draw something, because obviously that would kill the run. We're doing pretty good damage here, so we should be able to hopefully get the cards we need, push into the next uh, phase, and then deal with it from there. Okay, we got... Escanor cards, which is good. Um, we pretty much just... Yeah, I was about to say, we just used his ult, so I doubt we have any ultimate move gauge. The Elat ultimate is also really nice for this phase sometimes, because you can put debuff immunity on, which is really, really cool. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? I think we go... with... I think we're going to go max card draw here. Hope we can pull another Freyer card, I think. This move in, ends up being a little useless because we can't heal at the moment, but it's fine. Level two. This can't, uh, or yeah, cancel stances, but I don't think that you can actually use that move against the deer's uh, actual stance, which is a bit unfortunate. But, you know, can't win them all, I guess. Um would be really nice to heal. Uh, it's going to be a toss-up on whether or not I can get my... Or get another card, though. I guess we're just going to kind of hope. Hope for it. I don't think... I don't, eh, actually, because of the melee card, I think we will kill here, but... 
All right, just need Jormungand cards. A couple of green cards, please. Okay, we got the worst passive, so that kind of... Uh, actually, no, this is actually an okay passive. That one's not too bad. We did get a Jormungand card, so that's good. Um, so, oh, we actually don't have to get rid of the color wheel here, or we don't have to do the color wheel just yet, so let's go red. Actually, let's, let's merge. We'll go red green blue into his ult mine's only one six so this isn't gonna be anything crazy yeah that move just kind of blows a little bit of a heal here nothing crazy though because that didn't do a whole lot of damage boom boom um ooh, that actually did really good compared to the other cards those other cards really didn't do much of anything uh, unfortunately, we are going to take some damage right here before moving into the next phase, but can't do anything about it. Ooh, don't do too much, please. Eh, it's a little bit more than I was hoping for, but maybe we lifesteal a little bit here, hopefully. So green into blue. No, blue. Uh, yeah, green into blue. Into red. Into... We don't have another green, so we're going to use that because we kill with Eskimo's ult either way. Uh, Lifesteal? Eh, decent. Kills here. Uh, actually did Lifesteal a pretty decent amount. Not too bad there. God, I feel like she's just on the field naked. Like, she just has, like, zero clothing on. All I can see is skin. It's I, it's actually kind of weird. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not too sure how to feel about it. But, so we got a pretty good passive here. Uh, and I think we're on track for a pretty decent run as long as we don't get like super screwed with RNG uh, Which definitely can happen a lot in the last like two phases of this fight uh, We should be okay. I think So I like to save this card So we're gonna use the heal which is actually kind of nice because Freya needs a little top off and then I'm not, I can't remember if it changed at all this morning when I did a run, but normally Escanor is the one that gets attack sealed in this phase. And I'm a, I think it went the same. I, I don't think that changed at all, but I guess we'll see just in case. Cause I do have cosmetics on him now, which might change things. It doesn't look like it's going to. Um, yeah, so this doesn't end up being too big of an issue really. Would be nice to get some more Jormungand cards, I think. Uh, we'll go for... I think we'll get rid of that. Two single targets to get Melee's passive. Uh, this phew, kills here. Yeah. Alright, so we go into the next phase. Should get debuff immunity on Escanor here, so we don't have to worry about that. And we'll see how things go so he doesn't have the like the the shield thing on until phase four so we should still be fine to use a melee card right here at the beginning and then we can go blue um i think i need to go for card draw more so i'm gonna go blue red green like this hopefully we can pull another jormungand card you actually blow through this phase pretty quickly. Like, he just, I don't know, he doesn't take too much damage here. Cancel stance. Boy, oh boy. Unfortunately, had to get rid of the remove buff card. The only reason I try to keep that card is because if if you take too long in phase three, he'll put up buffs, which is really annoying. I'm pretty sure it has evasion on it as well. And then in phase four, he also puts up, like, an evasion buff or whatever, which can be very, very bad. So, uh... We do have at least one of each color, which is good. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's go blue, red, green, and then hopefully Melly can finish that off if we don't kill. Uh, I don't think we'll kill. Or, I mean, Melly will kill, but I don't think any of these characters are going to kill. Which is good because if you kill with Melly uh, and it doesn't you know, not finish the phase. You don't have to worry about him putting Corrosion on, which is good. Phase three. So this is where it's going to get really dicey. <laughs> 
All right, so we don't have a whole lot of Jormungand cards in hand, so let's use this. I think we get rid of these Escanor cards if possible to help push. Um, we shouldn't kill here, which is good because I, I would like to have extra cards to throw away from each of these characters so I don't have to use an ult because uh, that would be embarrassing, I think. Um, honestly, really good card draw. Unfortunately, the big thing that I have to worry about here is he deletes cards. So he's going to delete this card out of hand. Boom. It's gone. Very bad because if we get bad RNG and we don't pull a card for her before we go into the phase like we just didn't, um, or we end up having really bad luck and we don't pull one in a second whenever we push phase, uh, I'm stuck. So this is where the RNG kind of screws me here uh, because I don't have any cards in hand. I can't push her ultimate. If, even if I did, he could delete the ultimate out of hand. So here's hoping. Nice, okay, we got one. So that's good. So we go I almost want to use red first, so that way I can use this ultimate turn one. So let's go red, green, blue. That breaks the shield, or gets rid of the shield debuff. Or, or I guess it's a buff, gray buff. Uh, and then we can use this, see how it does. And then if we get lucky and he doesn't remove our ultimate, we can probably push for kill. But if we don't, which is, or if he does remove it, which is very likely, um, we can try to build it back up. Ooh, don't give me too many melee cards here, please. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, well, actually, I think he uses three attacks, so I don't need to get ahead of myself. Okay, removing ultimate. Unfortunate. See, if you have Elat there, Escanar actually has enough defense-related stats to uh, patience that, which is very nice. Um, I'm gonna use that just to get some damage off. Plus, it'll get it'll merge and get that card out of my hand. So we go green into blue. Ooh, see, and this is the spot where it really sucks because I need this card next turn. So. I think instead I'm going to merge these, hope that we don't get our ultimate removed, which is, this is the best floor for hoping that I don't get it removed. And then we're going to use these cards and I guess hope for the best. Good damage actually. Unfortunately, if you're not attacking with a character that's on rotation, uh, you don't do nearly as much damage. So if I tried to like push Esmor ult, like if I was gonna use it in that turn, I would have to use Jormungand's card um, and then try to get to blue on rotation. So no ult removal, ah, he removed it. So that's not good but we're not in the worst position. So we remove the buffs. Ooh, we're not in a great position either though. Um, I wish I had a cleave card in hand so I could get a little bit of damage off. I'm gonna try it like this. I know that I'm breaking the color wheel here, but I need to make sure that Escanor's card is the one on rotation when I attack, so that way I can hopefully deal enough damage to where he doesn't um, revive. Yeah, that's doing nothing. I don't think that I win here. Mm. Yeah, so ultimate. He didn't revive though. I think you have to get him at 20 for him to hit revive. He still removes the ultimate move gauge. This is where the RNG really screws you, man. Um, and I really can't do much here. I 
yeah, I think I'm just kind of in a bad spot. But you can see how it goes. Honestly, I mean, you can win uh, if I just wouldn't have got terrible RNG. He removed my ultimate like every single time, which was very not good. Uh, I think I'm just going to move Freyr cards here because I'm, I'm literally stuck at the moment. I have Corrosion on. I can't attack him or else he's just going to absolutely obliterate me. <laughs> and he puts on the evasion here, which is not great. Um, I think it might be possible that I can win if I just waste this so it pushes color wheel. Actually, I don't think it'll deal damage at all, so um, I don't think I will be able to push color wheel here. Yeah, I think I'm just in a terrible spot. I could try and wait another turn, like wait out another turn, which I think is just my best option. I don't actually want to get anybody's ult. Okay, he's not actually dealing that much damage, surprisingly. Another one of those, please? No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, removes the ult again. If I could set it up to where he would remove it and then me gain it back, that would be perfect, but I don't think I can get that lucky, unfortunately. Actually, I should use this. I should try to heal. And see how that goes maybe because the problem is I with using one card unless I have like a gold flood or something like a, a level two melee would even be pretty decent um, it's gonna be like really hard for me to uh... damn he's I'm just I'm literally just stuck this is super annoying And I don't. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to keep stalling. I guess I'll just come back and see if this works out. <laughs> just because I'm stubborn. Uh, and I want to see if this somehow does work out. So. Alrighty. So we're back to phase four. I'm going to see how this goes but unfortunately I'm, I'm not exactly sure when I'm interjecting this part into uh, the actual like like last clip uh, or like taking over the last clip or whatever but uh, I would literally just got into a, a rut where he was taking off my ultimate move gauge every single time and finally when he wasn't gonna take it off uh, he killed Jormungand so I literally <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do anything about it. Fortunately, uh, we actually didn't get our ultimate move gauge removed. So we should be able to hopefully do this, this, and this, and we should be able to win. Hopefully, I don't know. Um, as long as my move does like close to damage cap or so. Yeah, okay, well there it is. Boom, bam. That was much better RNG because he literally didn't take off my ultimate move gauge the very first time. So, uh, there's that. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I really like the team. It just, you have to deal with that RNG uh, on the very last phase of him not removing your ultimate or else it's going to be way harder. So I do like Elat in that instance, but I think the rest of the fight went a lot faster with Freyr. And uh, I mean, pff, you might get a little distracted from looking at Jormungandr so much, but uh, honestly, not too bad. I think... Uh, I think she's hot. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in the next one.